फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ शिवम थिस्ते आई एम अ फर्स्ट ईयर वेटरनरी स्टूडेंट ऑफ कॉलेज ऑफ वेटरनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेस परवनी सो वी आर टुडे हियर टू एक्सप्लोर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल मेटेरोलॉजी सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक टुडे वी आर एट द एग्रीकल्चरल मेटेरोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एट वसंतराव नाईक मराठवाडा कृषी विद्यापीठ परवनी सो डॉक्टर कैलाश डाकोरे सर इज हियर विथ अस ही इज ऑफिसर इन चार्ज ऑफ दिस डिपार्टमेंट एंड डॉक्टर डावरे सर इज विथ अस He is assistant professor at Department of Physiology, College of Veterinary and, and Animal Sciences, Parvani. So, Dr. Pelas Dakhore sir will uh, guide us about the various instruments and the related physiology, uh, environmental physiology. So, sir, please guide us. Yes. Uh, first of all, welcome to both of you, and thank you for just allowing me to share some my past experience regarding the biometrology. Actually, this bioclimatology subject was very much important for animal husbandry department. As we know, the IPCC has already given the projections regarding the climate change, the rising temperature, rising on other natural gases in the atmosphere. So, in same way, the human being on the earth surface, as well as the animal sector, is the major who are just the having the uh, impact on the. Uh, related to climate change agriculture sector no doubtly every cereal crops orchards vegetables every uh, type of vegetation will go to affect in the coming years but animal is the major component in our system as we know mo most of the population of animal when we see the figures in the worldwide the animal population is maximum in the world in india only but in production point of view we are not ranking in the first two or three so why what are the reasons because we have not curiously studied this subject biometrology is very uh, interesting subject if you take the care of animals definitely we will go to the number one so that is the potential of this uh, animal sector or the we can say that we will go we meticulously how these uh, weather elements climate is affecting to the animal sector simply i will just give example ipcc just last year they have come with the new report that the global climate uh, global temperature will rise by 1.5 degrees celsius right now 1.3 degrees celsius already rose and uh, 0.2 degrees celsius in coming days or coming years we will be uh, having the experiencing the same kind of temperature so what are the ways to overcome this temperature effect as uh, in human being uh, vegetation or agriculture crop every ecosystem has the different kind of systems animal is also adopting with the climate change no doubt but we need to modify the microclimate of the animal where they are staying and for that purpose we need to measure the weather element precisely we have to come with the their comfort zones and one best comfort zone i think you all are aware about the thi is indicator the thi is give the how to manage your animal sector particularly during summer winter and rainy season so this thi factor is very precisely monitored by the, our animal department in our agriculture university one of the animal agriculture department is there so students they are coming they are interacting about and discussing about this thi when i was student i used to learn this subject biometrology and this is very unique subject because if we know the thi simple factor so we can manage we can alter our microclimate if temperature is going to rise so how can reduce the temperature there are alternative ways so this while discussing and while we listening these are simple things but that will uh, create a impact on the meat production mm -hmm. and same way poultry sector or other allied sectors of agriculture they are coming from the veterinary sciences so this is the very uh, essential component in climate change scenario as we know only sole agriculture will not sustain so we have to come with the allied sector and we have to think uh, same way our allied sector we need to come with the some sophisticated instrumentation to know temperature humidity related aspect because most of the diseases they are just having the congenital phase due to temperature and humidity right now uh, marathwada and maharashtra facing the lumpy disease problem and from your university i know uh, your university is contributing much more because they are in our advisory panel so we are giving the advisory to the farmers about the lumpy disease and uh, farmers they are calling even government of maharashtra they have given with the seven type of some recommendations 
they have to we are disseminating this information continuously and looking the seriousness and uh, timely advice is essential vaccination you know better what are the seven criteria so i will not go in detail but uh, recent decade when we will go back from 2000 onward to 2023 we have number of diseases in animal sector either in poultry or uh, we can say in fishery sector also or even in milking animals also so how to overcome this issue we have to come with the some precise instrumentation we should know the temperature humidity and other weather elements that are essential and i appreciate uh, dr dawle sir and his team because he came with his student to visit the meteorological observatory and he is very enthusiastic to know how we are measuring this to uh, this weather data and what kind of weather elements we are measuring i think your student already done some good exercise phd thesis or ms mps ms thesis in phd good i uh, give the i i will give the compliment to sir because first time somebody has come here to learn uh, this uh, agrometeorology subject so uh, definitely from our university our center we will help you whatever the data you require will supply there is no issue and uh, yes eagerly uh, what happened some students uh, they are coming sir uh, i want to know how to compute this uh, th because thi computation is very simple i think you need some interest mm -hmm. and uh, after creating the uh, just formulating the thi you have to think accordingly how to operationalize this thi index because management aspect come after that if we know the thi and uh, i hope in future also you can develop this thi and uh, i think uh, Uh, we have very good potential in this sector you can develop a digital thr so which uh, sector in the marathwada or maharashtra particularly is having high thr we can alter we can give the advisory to the farmers sir ee apra sanga nindi karto ki tanni amcha related ji agriculture metallurgy department he kasa animal husbandry district kiwa veterinary science related hai tyacha sathi je kai instrument lagte ki measuring sathi tyacha ya amra detail thodi shi maiti sang instrument in agrometer observatory and uh, this is a, it has a four different thermometers uh, so you can see the we have just kept this instrument and the face of opening of this door is towards the north side so we are in northern hemisphere okay so technically what we are doing just open that door so we have the different two horizontal thermometers first one is a maximum thermometer bottom one is a minimum and this two vertical are left one is a dry bulb right one is a wet bulb so dry bulb and wet bulb thermometers are required to uh, compute the or to know the humidity relative humidity and first two we have the maximum temperature and minimum temperature so i uh, just uh, in beginning i told the face of opening of door is towards the northern hemisphere north side it is in northern hemisphere because we know sun is uh, Or just having rising from east and just going throughout day towards the west side. If we will keep this opening south facing direction, what will happen? The maximum exposure will be for the sun. So that is not a true. So we need to just hide the exposure from the sun. So uh, when we are in the southern hemisphere, it is vice versa. So opening of door to, uh, towards the south yeah. south side. so that is the basic principle of this uh, stevenson screen and how we are measuring in the morning at local time uh, lmt in the 721 we are measuring the maximum temperature minimum all this temperature we are taking reading first maximum thermometer second minimum then and this one and this one so you can see the here one thread is muslin cloth is just having at the end of this wet bulb thermometer so we are always keeping it is a wet so it is just evaporating if it requires it takes water 
and uh, it is actually giving the wet bulb temperature because in the bottle uh, there is a distilled water. So that is the difference between uh, how much difference between dry and wet. You just keep in mind right now how much reading is for dry. You just take a reading from this that side. Twenty nine one six. And here uh, just uh, below twenty five. So we have to keep the because we should know which factor is dominant. It depends upon the weather condition. If it is cloudy, if it is dark cloudy, so we have the different pattern. Now it is a clear sky. So maximum is happening in the wet, and uh, minimum is happening in the so maximum is happening here, and minimum is showing here right now. But when we are taking reading in the morning and afternoon. Uh, two times in a day we will see the cloud having the atmo atmosphere is having the much more water vapor then this humidity is coming towards the above 80 or 90 so maximum humidity is present that will represent and that is the indication of rainfall also so if we are uh, feeling uncomfortness during that period okay the maximum water vapor will present in the atmosphere means maximum humidity is if more dryness means more temperature so likewise we are getting the comfortness and uncomfortness we are also feeling same time animal also feeling same way even our crops are feeling same way so this these are the simple parameters we are competing apart from that we have some other uh, sophisticated instrument we are getting the directly humidity in automatic weather station they have the sensor it is measuring directly temperature separately and relative humidity separately you can monitor this temperature and humidity 10 minutes interval or even 1 minute interval that is not issue but we can monitor at hourly interval also so how much peak was there in a throughout a 24 hours we can calculate using the automatic weather station so this was the first instrument after taking reading twice in a day we are computing the humidity morning and afternoon rh1 rh2 okay what is the timing of the minimum and maximum see setting setting time. setting uh, we are not setting this too for maximum rightly for maximum temperature we are setting in the morning and for a minimum temperature in the about time as say local time is for 721 and 14 hour 21 uh, in the afternoon so th that will give the 24 hours maximum and 24 hours minimum next so this is also one important instrument this is a wind vane so we know Uh, we can't see the wind, but we can feel the wind. So, by which direction it is coming? By looking towards the moment of the leaf, tree, we can see wind is coming from this direction, this direction. But scientifically speaking, when we look the our instrument wind vane, we can see the wind is blowing actually from this direction to this direction. Right now, it is coming towards from the, the arrow is showing the direction of current. So, it is in between west and south. south. Okay, so it is blowing towards the in between that. So this is the north, south, east, west, and in between. So we accordingly we are monitoring the wind direction, uh, temperatures, at similar time in the morning hours and in the afternoon hours. So every season the wind pattern is changing. Right now we know the monsoon season is at the end of uh, this stage, so the wind direction is different. When the post monsoon we have the different wind direction. In summer we have the wi different wind direction. the wind direction and wind is playing dominant role on the earth or on the globe to have a monsoon system or a, we can say general circulation of earth it uh, throughout the 365 days it will govern which part of the globe is having the rainfall high temperature due to temperature difference only wind is blowing and it carries the moisture from the ocean and that comes towards our land masses and which is the actual period of this uh, monsoon it depends upon this moment of this wind so these winds are carrying all kind of the our uh, moisture towards our land masses and that brings our four months of monsoon in india so this is a very interesting story in uh, world war also uh, i think in first or second world war some invention was happened the world war was not very good but uh, during that world war what uh, uh, these american troops they found they invented the jet streams we heard the terminology jet stream when they are coming to just throw the bombs so at certain level in the atmosphere they found it is very easier the bombs are coming very fastly so they have maintained that height wind speed was maximum so that is a jet stream even our planes are 
yeah, taking that route to travel to uh, just um, minimize the or minimum utilization of the fuel. Yeah. So these are the inventions happen in the war also. So this is the metrology and many wars loosened by the many great warriors due to only metrology. <laughs> so this is another part, but uh, metrology is very important because we, once we know every parameter, we can manage our local situation. Or we can business, even our agriculture sector, animal sector. So we have these uh, windrows also. We know from which direction throughout year wind is coming. So we can make barriers also in our uh, agriculture sector or even in animal uh, component. If we have the farm ponds, we can make uh, some barriers to avoid the operation losses due to wind. So wind is uh, very good because wind is required parameter. Uh, it has a potential to transport some uh, recent year we heard about the some uh, exhaustive fish uh, pests. They are coming from the uh, another part of the globe to the India. So this wind is a very uh, powerful parameter. So this is a wind wind. It's a device. This is a Campbell stroke sunshine recorder. So we can monitor the bright sunshine hour throughout the day. So this is the globe. And underneath of this globe we have kept one card. So we have different types of card depends upon the season. Now it is a long card uh, and uh, we can monitor the burning hours from sunrise to sunset. So what is the utility of this burning hours? In agriculture we know that some crops are for photosensitive, they require a specific photo period. So the for filtering point of view this data is required. Even the development of pest and diseases it depends upon the cloudiness and the uh, how much time throughout the day from sunrise to sunset the cloudy period was there we can easily monitor using this uh, sunshine, uh, sunshine recorder so we will get the uh, out of uh, 10 how much uh, hours was uh, bright sunshine hour and uh, how much hour was having a cloud condition so any congenital condition is developed due to the cloudy condition we can go with the database okay so last 7 or 8 days or 9 days was a cloudy condition so this is the reason why the Regional phase was developed in the agriculture crops, or even we can more correlate with your animal sector. Uh, we are very much interested to know the wind speed also. So, see the la, on the ocean and land masses, we experience the maximum wind speed on the ocean because the less friction is there. So, land masses having the maximum rough patches. So, we are not experiencing much more wind speed here. So, still we have the maximum wind speed. allow uh, don't tie outside the uh, your uh, shed so that is required for safety point of view and uh, we know if wind speed is maximum what is happening so this is a cup counter animator so we have the see we can see how it is rotating if we, wind is blowing it has a three concave uh, cups and uh, just pushing the one cup so automatically it is rotating and it is very flexible and uh, just like our um, bike it has a uh, this uh, yeah, kilometers, uh, you can see speedometer. So, then we can measuring the reading. We are taking the reading every morning and every afternoon. We can compute the wind speed in the difference of 3 minutes also. And uh, last past four, four, 24 hours, what was the wind speed? We can compute in the 44 hours also. We can compute in per hour also. So, it is a calculation part. So, this is also very much uh, important to know. Uh, and we can construct any kind of shed in animal sector. Suppose the location is having climatology that wind speed is maximum. So what kind of construction we should do? Whether we should allow animal to graze outside? So that is most important parameter in the animal sector and even in agriculture sector also. So we have to come with the, some barriers. Suppose some farmer is taking orchards, banana. So he has to construct the barriers to uh, his farm because wind speed is high. So it is very important because it governs the operation, everything, wind, wind speed. Okay, thank you.
so this instrument is installed by the india meteorological department as we are aware about the india meteorological department it is the solo body in the country and which is more than 100 years it was established during the uh, our when uh, this uh, rulers was our uh, english people so they have started this division and uh, it has a very good data pack so now they have the this automatic weather station every district in the country so they are monitoring all weather parameters see this uh, is a humidity and temperature shield so that is continuously monitoring apart from that uh, top there is a uh, one instrument radiation instrument they have kept uh, sorry sonic anemometer so it monitors the wind speed and wind direction and uh, it is this data is transmitting to a uh, data bank at imd office fully from there also we can get the data and this data is used for the weather forecast so this instrument is installed by the india meteorological department as we are aware about the india meteorological department it is the solo body in the country right now it is more than one and they have also similar kind of established during the office they have recording uh, rain gauge we just open this so self recording rain gauge it is just taking a this is a drum we kept the chart around the drum so it is continuously monitoring means uh, we don't need to measure manually here what happen at 8:30 am in the morning we are changing the chart okay inside the drum there is a clock drum so it is just rotating just like our clock so whenever the rainfall is happening so from that uh, collector it is going directly to the this is just straight from that side uh, from uh, this is the side where the rain drops are entering and below that there is a funnel like shape so where it is collecting in this so this what happen this pin is going up when rainfall is happening when it completely fill uh, it is a scale of 10 mm so it is going up a pen is going up and uh, every day we are keeping the ink inside the pen so we will get the uh, reading at that time suppose uh, only 2.5 mm or 3 mm rainfall happen so this pen will stuck up here and it will go straightly with respect to the time if rainfall intensity is very high and within 1 hour suppose 3 uh, or 4 times 10 mm lines was coming from this 0 to 10 it means within that period at what time exactly at 7 o'clock 8 o'clock the rainfall was 30 mm 30 mm we can know rainfall intensity with respect to time we can know using this device that is a self recording instrument uh, self recording uh, rain gauge the siphoning is happening whatever the rainfall is coming it is coming outside here so every day morning we are doing the siphoning because we should know if it is stuck up with the some uh, uh, what we say any kind of impurity inside so it will not go so we have to do using this uh, we are just pouring the water inside this it is coming like this one line at the start of uh, when we are changing the card every day morning so this siphoning is essential we are doing siphoning after that see 
if there is a no rainfall uh, till tomorrow morning it will having the same line straight so top is having the 8 9 10 11 this is the time scale okay. and uh, this from this side we can see the millimeter scale up to 10 millimeter so with respect to time with respect to intensity we know the how much intensity of rain follows happen we can compute using this uh, srg self recording rain volume okay we'll go another instrument this is open pan your perimeter This, this is open pan evaporator as we know how much evaporation losses is happening we can easily monitor using this device see this e device is covered with the mesh like uh, structure why because we have to keep our animal and birds otherwise they will drink the water so we will not get a true representative evaporation losses this is a small measuring device having the marking and it is a 2 mm okay so every where we have the marking system so when the summer season yes summer season if we know maximum evaporation is happening winter less and during the rainy season it is again less post monsoon rainy season is also there are four different kind of evaporation uh, happening throughout the year so we'll go one by one this is the stilling well because this is a very huge open pan evaporator we can see we have to simply pour the water inside this open pan evaporator but where to stop so this stilling well inside that there is a rod when we pour the water here the water is bubbled and having the uh, difficulty to stop where to stop exactly that's why this stilling is well is kept here it is having pores at the bottom when we are filling the water inside this still uh, open pan evaporator where water is rising gradually in the stilling well and it is reaching to the top of this rod then we have to stop pouring water okay. suppose i pour water in the morning two jar of full jar of this means 4 mm of evaporation is happen so this is a one simple condition when when rainfall is happening at that time we are monitoring the rainfall is rain gauge so suppose 3 mm of rainfall has happened and still i pour one half of half a jar means 1 mm so how much evaporation is happening on that day 3 plus 1 means already there's 3 ml was incorporated in this and the remaining one we have added that's the second condition third condition when rainfall was happen more suppose 20 ml say 15 ml so then we don't need to add water we need to remove the water using this same device so how much evaporation that is the minus means that the evaporation was not happen but it was incorporated sir so this is the another uh, type of thermometer these are the soil thermometer uh, soil thermometers are useful to know the temperature at different depths as uh, we in agriculture we are cultivating different crops and the sowing of the uh, sowing time of the crop is decided on the basis of the how much soil temperature is there similarly you are cultivating the fodder crop lucerne uh, maize barsim or there are uh, so uh, lot of varieties in the fodder crop so what is the pre actual time to sow your fodder crops so this data is very much useful so different depth have the different temperature even for the irrigation purpose also we can know at which depth surface is different soil temperature sub surface 10 cm 50 cm is having the different temperature so whether the moisture is available or not we can easily know and uh, we can take a decision so simply we are monitoring this uh, temperature data twice in a day and uh, the pattern of the temperature is different in the morning and afternoon hours so this is very useful precise data to know the soil moisture and the soil temperature okay Thank you. this is our dew gauge instrument uh, sir is also know the importance of the even you also know the importance of the dew uh, sir has already explained why this dew are we are measuring these are the dew gauge plates and this redox is utilized for the measuring the dew as we know the timing of observation is quite different rest of the observations we are taking after the sunrise 
but for dew we are monitoring this uh, dew gauge plate at different height before the sunrise means sunrise time is just changing day by day so as we know the moment of the earth and the seasons are happening so during monsoon after the post monsoon or in the between that period the dew is actually starting so when uh, for dew what conditions are required clear sky cloud free sky so that is most important and uh, before 6 o'clock even we are reaching here one our observer so he is monitoring the dew so for this different kinds of height we are actually monitoring because we know our agriculture we have the different height crop right now soybean has a different height cotton is having the different height pigeon pea different height even sub season uh, in the rabi season chickpea is having different height uh, sorghum is having different height so how this dew is affecting when in the early in the morning when we are looking towards our uh, when we will wake up uh, we can monitor this dew at the windows outside the door so when we simply push the hand we have the moisture similarly at different height we have the different dew so this dew we are just comparing with the dew album we have the dew album so how much mm of water is there so they have the index imd has developed that index and this was index was developed by the wm world meteorological organization and that is uniformly monitored all over the globe so we are simply monitoring how comparing the photo with respect to the present day dew so either a b c this type of scale and accordingly we are converting into mm and uh, this is very precise information any congenital uh, what we said this is a development in agriculture uh, in sorghum or other crops we are develop, having the some different kind of disease same way in animal sector also different diseases are developing it is depends upon the how much dew is coming on that day okay thank you sir uh, as you have explained all the instruments very deeply and you have given very deep knowledge about the uh, every instrument sir i have one question about that uh, automatic weather station of imd uh, that whatever data is collected through uh, that instrument that is collected uh, in our department or uh, any other depart uh, department or if uh, it is collected in any other department then how uh, we can receive that data so see for uh, every automatic weather station there are two projects either we are taking the data manually we can go with that data logger we can uh, insert our uh, what we say device usb port we can collect the data and we can just transmit data in our system and we can email but here they have the automatic weather station with antenna precise antenna so that data is continuously transmitting on their server if there is a some lacuna and there is some problem they are just informing us we just go and collect the data manually okay but it was never happened suppose some other technical issues apart from that in the instrument or in the sensor their team is visiting so they are just monitoring and just resolving the issue but simply right now every automatic weather station have the mechanism they are simply transmitting data using the 4g and uh, their server is at pune imd server data bank server is up, available at imd office shivaji nagar pune in simla office so they are just gathering all the information they are just pushing this information for weather forecasting purpose So the last instrument that is the lightning measuring instrument. So sir will explain this. One. See, this is the on the rooftop of the our building. So this is a lightning device. So this device was provided by the NRS Hyderabad, National Remote Sensing Agency Hyderabad. So uh, they have the some project under the central government, and uh, they have installed this kind of uh, devices across this uh, country. So simply during the monsoon season. Uh, we have the experience of the lightning how much lightning is happening throughout the day uh, even you also read the in the newspaper last year also this year maximum casualties was happen in the bihar state due to lightning so this is the device only we are monitoring the lightning so there are um, alert messages which was provided by our 
uh, Indian Meteorological Department, they have developed one app, uh, that Damini app. And actually, this app was developed by the IITM, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, which is at Pune. So this app is very much useful to know the lightening of any location before one hour. So we can have a minimize the casualty because in the field, animals and uh, human beings, they are just doing the work. So we know during the day, uh, suddenly there is a change in the um, uh, this uh, weather. Uh, sometimes thunderstorm and lightning is happening. If we know from this location in, in which periphery the lightning is happening, the Damini app is showing. So we can easily uh, skip from the lightning activity. Even we can save our animals. And uh, the radius of this device is around. So at last, thank you, sir, for uh, giving us the detailed information about the each instrument. And uh, all the students uh, got the information about the uh, environmental physiology and the uh, factors affecting the animal. So thank you very much, sir. And thank you to uh, Dr. Dawe sir also for uh, uh, arranging such a visit. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome.